Welcome everyone to an intense new game, Making the Rounds. Buckshot Roulette for the PC. Buckshot Roulette was released in the tail end of 2023, literally three days after Christmas. You know, perfect for the season. Uh, it was developed and produced by um, Mike Klubnika, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and is eventually going to be released on Steam on April 4th um, underneath the publisher name of Critical Reflex. Currently is available on itch.io um, for a meager $1.25, but you can pay whatever you want for it. And honestly, given the replay value and the clear love that went into this game, I would recommend you know tossing him an extra buck or two. I think he deserves it. Um, so that's really all I have uh, to say about this relatively new game. Uh, it is odd that I'm doing a new new game out, but um, this is an indie title, and it's one I want to play, so I'm not just doing it for clickbait. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, get into the Rack and Ruin. Hallelujah, it's raining shells. Okay, I do need to switch something real quick. Okay, so, um, check out the credits real quick. Um, so as you can see, a fair amount of people, uh, contributed to this. Um, a lot of it was audio. Uh, options and then the only option really is to uh, bring the sound down at least that's all I've ever found so uh, I did so and I'm um, running this in full screen okay so let's get to it ominous so uh, we are in the very dingy bathroom of a, uh, what sounds like a, uh, club. So there is, uh, one thing in here that we can interact with. Quaaludes, one milligram of them. Not recommended for first playthrough. Um, so I'm not going to do it. What these actually do, um, there is a uh, ability to basically restart if uh, things get uh, too messed up. Um, this uh, activates like a hard mode of the game where that doesn't happen. So I'm not going to do hard mode immediately. Uh, also, I like the fact that the yes and the no seem to be spelled out in pills. Nice touch. Okay, so through the door we go. It is hopping down there. Um, that man, by the way, is the doctor. Um, he's just known as that. Uh, he'll show up at some point. But what we want is the store here. Just kick the door right in. Please sign the waiver. Get so violent, you have to sign a waiver. Um, now, there are two names that you actually absolutely cannot sign the waiver with. Here's one of them. Yeah. You cannot sign the waiver as God. Uh, you can also not use this. Because the dealer is the person in the mask uh, sitting directly across from you. So I'll just sign it like I uh, sign most uh, non-official documents. Or documents, even. So we got three rounds. 
One live round, two blanks. I insert the shells in an unknown order. <laughs> it doesn't look like pumpkin head, doesn't it? Okay. So now we get down to brass tacks. Uh, shotgun. Shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. So two blanks, one live round. There is a 33% chance of shooting myself. And this is a part of where I'm going to have some trouble with this game because as bad as I am with math, that also means I'm terrible with probability. Yeah, damn it, where's Scott Steiner when you need him? But given there are two blanks to one live, I'm going to take a chance. And it was a bad move. Careful now. So you see I got defibrillated to get myself back in the game. And the same thing uh, happens if the dealer shoots himself with a blank. Three live rounds, two blanks. They enter the chamber in a hidden sequence. Yeah, for my money, this first round is probably the toughest to pass. Because the odds are not always cut and dried. And there really isn't anything here to help you. Okay, well, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's poke. Phew. Okay, so let's see. One live down, one blank down. That means two lives, one blank. Statistically speaking... And that's the end of the dealer and the end of the round. Yay. Oh yeah, he does look more messed up. Let's make this a little more interesting. Two items each. Okay, so we're going to have a few items, more items, items before every load. Beer. And beer. Unfortunately, you get what they give you. You can't uh, refuse the items and uh, choose something else. One live, one blank. Okay. Beer, you rack the shotgun. End ra ends round on last shell. Uh, rack, by the way, means pump, basically. So this ejects whatever shell is already uh, in there. And I think with a 50-50 shot, that's a good thing to do. And that was the live round. Okay. Alright, well, I know it's safe to do this then. Okay, so no harm, no foul. And I get another beer! General release of live God. Okay, the, the implication there is that God played this game before and presumably didn't get through it. But that would explain why I can't uh, call myself God. Okay, we got the Chuck Woolery uh, load, two and two. Okay. I, well, I got a near six back here. Might as well pop it. Okay, that's a blank. Hmm. That's PBR. So it doesn't matter if I get blown away. I'm going to die very quickly anyhow. Okay. Now the question is, what do I want to do?
Okay, well, I've already picked up the shotgun. I can't go back. Yeah, the difficulty, because of the things he has, um, what I just did there is going to end up negated, so I'm going to finish this round in the negative. Okay, handcuffs. I can't act for the next two turns. Hey, kids, smoking is really good for you. So, uh, yeah, when he smokes a cigarette, he gets a life point back. And the handsaw, um, when the shotgun is sawed off, it does two damage instead of one. So... Okay, so yeah, we're uh, at the next round. Oh good, I got cigarettes. Perfect. And I got a handsaw. Three and two. Joy. Alright, well first things freaking first. Takes the edge off, regain one charge. Yes, yeah, smoking can actually extend your life in this game. Astonishing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rack the gun. Okay, well, they're one alive. So I got a 50 50. If I can. Okay, if the next one is live and I can get rid of it, then there's only one live round left in the gun. So a lot of that stuff over there that he can mess with won't make much difference. Okay, there's one live round left. So we're going to take a chance. Yeah, see, I saw it off. He just, like, rakes it across the gun. Very odd. Come on, be good to me. Oh, dicks. Oh, dicks, sporting goods where there is no seven-day waiting period on this game. Come on, blank. Ugh. Yeah, this game is not exceptionally, you know, bloody or anything like that. Yeah, I'm going to take a hit here. Yeah, it's more the... it's more the tension. Which is, which is actually what I like in a horror game, anyway. Oh, good. Magnifying glass. This is a good one. Two of them, even. Very nice. Three and three. Okay, magnifying glass. Check the current round in the chamber. Self it has one of those self-healing mats. Yeah, exactly. This is high-tech stuff. It, it looks like you could actually play a nice game of table tennis on here, too. It's like, you know, in, out. I have no idea why you actually break the magnifying glass before you look. That's kind of mystifying to me. And this is the moment I really wish I had a handsaw, because I know there's a... Uh, or handcuffs. Because, you know, I know there's a live in there. Unfortunately, this is going to get negated because he has the uh, cigarettes. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes, that does happen occasionally. The, co the computer is not perfect at uh, keeping track of what all's in there. So we got one live in there, by my reckoning. Okay. Alright. So let's see what is in there. A blank. Okay. Alright. 
that skips his turn. So we're down to one live, one blank, if I uh, am counting correctly. 50-50 shot, I always go for the dealer. Oh, shite. I'm not as happy as I should be. Careful now. Yeah, this uh, this is not looking too promising. Uh, I really wished I could would have gotten some cigarettes. Oh Lord. This, um, yeah, I don't think I'm getting through this one. Okay, a blank. Not, um, statistically speaking, what I would have, uh, thought was in there. Uh... All right. Well, I'm I'm probably not going to survive, but I can give you one hell of a dentist bill. Yeah, odds are this is going to do it. He didn't even need to saw it off. Yep. There's the doctor. You're lucky it left you with a charge. Get up, Lycan. The night is young. Nice of him to drag me to the dingy bathroom to resuscitate me. So, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Now we're going to eviscerate. Welcome back. Okay. So the good thing is in um, in this we stay on uh, level two. I don't think that happens in the uh, the difficult mode. Oh, cigarettes right from the start. Okay, I'll support the tobacco industry if it'll keep me alive. Ironically, one live round, one blank. I'm wondering about something, if I can actually gain an extra charge. Nope, wasted it. Oh well. Damn it. I'm gonna really wish I hadn't wasted that. Man, what I wouldn't give for that uh, shotgun from Saw that was rigged to fire backwards. Handcuffs. And I got a replacement pack of cigarettes. Good. Two live rounds, two blanks. And this is something that also does to throw you off. It leaves some of the rounds from the, the last uh, turn in there. Okay. All right, well, first things first, we're going to top off here. I'm going to see if I can uh, take a round away from him, so to speak. Phew. Okay. Dealer skips the next turn. He's done it to me often enough. Okay. The good thing about this, too, since he's skipping his next turn, um, he can't use the, uh, the cigarettes to heal himself. And again, 50-50 shot. Yep. Okay, so I'm not going to come out of this unscathed. In fact, I'm going to come out of it behind him. Yeah. Hand 
chainsaw. Beer. So we got cigarettes, beer, and a handsaw. Sounds like a pretty entertaining Friday night to me. All right, so three and two. I suppose first things first. Thank you for smoking. I really wish I had a magnifying glass right now. All right, let's go ahead and rack. And that was alive. Okay, take a chance here. And it did not pay off. <sighs> How do you see anything through that? Oh, shite. Okay, well, at least you can't saw it off. Hmm. Yeah, if he does that after looking through the magnifying glass, then you know for certain it's a blank in there. Cigarettes. All right, I'll take that. And three and three. Is it any? Is it very odd to any of you that I'm less worried about lung cancer than I am about getting ventilated with a, you know, ten, Remington uh, twelve gauge, or whatever the hell this thing is. I don't know. I don't pretend to know guns. Okay, that was alive. Okay, so we got uh, two live, three blank. Statistically speaking, this is a good idea, as if anything involved in this was a good idea. is rusty and holy crap what was that outside I looked away because I was distracted by like some a sudden gust of wind outside so I didn't actually see myself get shot there okay drank some beer Please give me some smokes. Thank you. Five and two. Things are getting ugly here. And he's got a uh, saw, so there's a good chance he could potentially finish me off. I'm going to have to hope this works. Okay. We can make up one point of that. I love how it sounds like they're, uh, they're using the Star Trek transporter to just beam part of the shotgun back in place. All right. Bye bye. Oh, shit, really? Oh my god, I thought there. 
I thought there was... Wow. I thought it was out of blanks. Oh, okay. Well, that makes my choice easy, doesn't it? Okay, this is good. I, I should be able to survive. Okay, I think I got it. I think I might win. I think I might win because I think both of the blanks are gone. Holy shit. Okay, that was harrowing. Ooh. Long last we arrive at the final showdown. No more defibrillators, no more blood transfusions. Now me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. Yeah, he ain't kidding. Okay, so now we're at the final round, folks. Four items each. And it's only going to get scarier from here. This is this is make or break time. So um, we're going to pick this up in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. And um, always remember, if you're going to play um, roulette, always bet on being black and blue. So take care until we game again. This episode's Mission Improbable was made possible by Mike Panza, Rick and Baltimore, Viceroy Scorn, D.I.O.D., Jumpy Cat, Shin Majin, the post-production contributions of Matthew Carr Anderson, and all my number-crunching Lycanthro fans. Thank you very much for your continued support. Until we game again.